And now to the Russia-Ukraine war. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky says there could be no sustainable peace in Ukraine unless Kyiv regains control of Russian-occupied territories, including Crimea. Uh, this comes as Ukraine officials say Russia long-range cruise missile hit a private enterprise and wounded three people in the Nisia. Uh, meanwhile, Russian officials say a Ukrainian drone struck a town in western Russia home to a nuclear power station that was undamaged. We have more in this report. A Ukrainian drone hit Kachetov, home to one of Russia's biggest nuclear power stations, but the plant was not damaged. Governor Roman Stratovoitz, who said there was no casualties, added that the drone damaged the facade of a building a few kilometers from the Kursk nuclear power station. Meanwhile, Russian Foreign Minister says work has begun on providing free gain to six African countries. Speaking at a meeting with students and teaching staff at Moscow State Institute of International Relations, Mr. Lavrov said practical work is now being organized to implement free supplies of Russian grain as announced by President Vladimir Putin at the Russia-African summit to the six most needy African countries. Recall that President Putin said at the Russian-African summit in July that Burkina Faso, Zimbabwe, Mali, Somalia, the Central African Republic, and Eritrea would receive free grain. In another development on the Russia-Ukraine war, a low-cost cardboard drone that arrives flat-packed and is held together with rubber bands is giving Ukraine an unexpected edge on the battlefield. It is called the Corvo Precision Payload Delivery System. It has been in Ukrainian hands since March, when the Australian government announced it would send at least 100 per month as part of a $20 million aid package. The Finnish build has a wingspan of around six and a half feet. Although it is known as a cardboard drone, there is conflicting information as to what its main framework is actually made of.